As we celebrate Pride Month, we shine a light on some of the achievements and issues facing the LGBTQ plus community. Today, KCAL 9's Chris Holmstrom takes a look at on-screen representation in Hollywood. And he found even though progress has been made, there's still a ways to go. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. The Craft Legacy tells the story of four teenage witches with newfound powers. It happens to everyone. He's made us all cry at one point or another. One of them, 20-year-old Downey native Zoe Luna. This is insanity. This is not real. But her journey so, doesn't start there. After I transitioned, I had a lot of problems with the school board. They would always give me a hard time. In 2014, she was one of the subjects for Laverne Cox's documentary, The T-Word. It followed the lives of transgender youth, each facing their own form of discrimination. They said, stay away from her. She's a really bad kid. She's like the Antichrist. At 13, she became a transgender activist. At the time, she was beginning her transition and says she was faced with discrimination from not only her peers, but from her school district. They told me that they were going to expel me if I um, transitioned publicly um, because they just felt that it was inappropriate. They felt like there wasn't a winning chance for me to transition in front of all the people that had already known me prior. With help from the ACLU, Zoe and her family fought back and filed a complaint with the United States Department of Education. The case that we had filed would have been implemented for however many years except when Trump became um, president. His policies basically diminished everything that I had worked to file in place to ensure that every kid that was going to go to that school would not have to face the discrimination. We need to keep our children safe. We need to stand as a community. Zoe's activism continued. That led to her own documentary, Raising Zoe. She was even highlighted in this documentary, 15, a quinceanera. These women didn't get to celebrate that quinceanera. All of them are transgender. That's kind of my theme. From there, the acting roles came. The Craft, Pose, and Dear Evan Hansen. Almost everything I dreamed of. I mean, definitely have been met with a lot of acceptance, a lot of respect. A recent study by GLAAD found nearly 12% of LGBT characters on TV have repeating roles. And while there is increased racial diversity among LGBT characters in film, advocates say more work needs to be done. In fact, of the leading film studios, there were no transgender or non-binary characters for the fourth year in a row. Zoe was fortunate. She didn't face many obstacles in her progression as an actress, but for others, it's far from easy. I am gay. I am a lesbian. I am bisexual. These are all actors signed to PKA, the Peter Calenteris Agency. Just last year, they were the first talent agency to launch a queer division. I wanted to create a, a home, a safe place where LGBTQ talent could thrive and understand that it is okay to be who you are because I'm gay too. It sounds easy enough, just be you, but Calantara says for his generation, things were different. When I was a young actor in the 90s, it was, it was frowned upon, and now it's celebrated. I think there's a revolution going on right now, uh, just an understanding that we, we're all connected. A revolution that is becoming mainstream. In fact, Universal Pictures just released the trailer for Bros. Hi everyone, it's Bobby Lieber and welcome to your favorite podcast where I talk about whatever I feel like talking about. It's the first gay rom-com from a major studio and it features an entirely LGBTQ principal cast. Other productions making headlines, the reboot of Queer as Folk and Fire Island. Finally, my girls have arrived! And that is our makeshift little family. These TV and film productions indicate a growing investment in the LGBT community. And the hope is that this will translate to a growing acceptance by the audience. As for Zoe, she says she will continue to do her part. As a trans person that is still alive, I am a walking, you know, billboard saying, hey, we're here, we're taking up space. and. The more that I continue to live authentically and bravely is kind of a mission statement. Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News. And if you'd like to read the full GLAAD report on the state of LGBTQ community in Hollywood, just go to our website, kcal9.com, click Scene on TV. There you'll find the links.